Hello everybody, Crazy Fish Farmer here. What I want to talk about today is green water and what green water is and how we end up with it. I think we've all seen it. We've been by a pond that just looks really bad. And the first thing in your mind is like, wow, they need to really fix that. But in reality, it's kind of fixing itself and that's what I want to talk about. Green water is algae. And there's different type of algae that grow in the water and on land. Um, you've got green algae, blue algae, brown algae, you've got string algae, blanket algae, it's just everywhere. Well, part of that process of getting green water is called the nitrification process. And that's what I'm going to go over and, and, and show you how that works. In a, in a nutshell, the, um, the way that I understand it, it doesn't have to be rocket science in order to understand this. It can be really simple. And how I'm going to explain it, it's pretty simple. Now you can take it a little bit further and learn a little bit more about it, but I'm going to give you the basics of it. This process is the nitrification process. It's a cycle that water goes through, and it all starts with, I'm hoping, some fish. Now, not just fish, it can be frogs, anything that lives in, in the water, anything aquatic. All right, now, let's say we have a brand new pond, we just filled it up with water, we put some fish in it, and of course we want to feed them. They gotta get fed. So, in a brand new pond, we've gotta feed them. In a pond that's been around for a while, nature would probably feed the fish. But this, we're gonna feed the fish this time. So we feed the fish, they're happy, well at least she is, he's kind of unhappy. And we all know one of the end, end products after you eat something is waste. Alright, so now we have waste and it floats around in the pond and sinks to the bottom of the pond where it's going to sit there and it's going to start to decay and it's going to start to break down. So when that happens, we end up with ammonia. All right, that's one of the, the main things in a nitrification process that's very harmful to the fish. So it makes them unhappy. It makes them really unhappy. It burns their gills, it hurts their skin, it just makes them happy and they end up dying. All right, so nature needs to fix that. Nature is very good at fixing it. Nature uses beneficial bacteria. Now, when we think of beneficial bacteria, we don't think of it being beneficial. We think of it being bad because just bacteria just sounds bad. Bacteria grows on everything, and there's beneficial bacteria. There, um, you think of a fish tank, and you always, if you put a rock in it, a nice clean rock in it, eventually it's going to grow something on it. Now, some of that is algae and but a lot of that is the beneficial bacteria. That's what we need in the fish tank. We tend to clean it all out, but that's what we need in it. All right, now, to get rid of the ammonia, there, there are a couple of beneficial bacteria that help in this process. I'm gonna show you both of those now. One of them is Nitra Spira and Nitra Simonis. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing these right. I'm close. I know I'm somewhat close. <laughs> All right, so to eliminate the ammonia is the Nitra Simonis. Now the Nitra Simonis basically gets, eats the ammonia, which is NH3. Now of course in this entire process we also need oxygen. Oxygen just has to be there. It's kind of there naturally. If it's not, then we've got to create it for the fish. Um, naturally it can be in a stream, it can be wind blowing, something pounding on the water, whatever. So with the oxygen, the nitra, nitra simonis 
eats the ammonia and basically converts it into nitrite. Now, nitrite is not super good for the fish either. So high levels of nitrite can harm the fish and make him unhappy the same way the ammonia does. All right, so now we need, nature needs something to convert that. So nature uses nitra spira to basically eat the nitrite, NO2, and convert it. Now, so the nitra spira is going to eat the nitrite, NO2, and convert it to nitrate. Alright, now, nitrate, um, it's not harmful to the fish, only in high quantities. So, the fish are kind of happy at this point, and kind of sad at the same time. So, nature wants to grow something green off of that nitrate. Alright? Nitrate, we think of nitrate, good fertilizer. It makes things nice and green and pretty. All right, so in the pond, if we put good, pretty plants in there that can live off that nitrate, we're in good shape. But a lot of times, we do not. So nature has another defense, and that's algae. It wants to grow algae. All right, so if we don't put a plant in there, like that pretty plant right there, then we're going to end up with green water. Now the fish, they could care less because, well, the nit nitrate's getting eaten by the plants. Now they could care about the string algae being floating everywhere and clogging everything up. But it, ultimately, we just need enough pretty plants in there to keep it happy. So, our end product is nitrate. Our end result is a happy fish, green plants, or green algae, if we let it go that way. So, what I'm hoping here is you don't look at bacteria as a bad thing and you don't look at algae as a bad thing because it's helping the ecosystem and ultimately making a happy fish. Alright, I'm hoping that made some kind of sense. But, that is the nitrification process in a simple form. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it made some kind of sense. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.